Okay, so I've been going back and forth with this girl this morning uh, on my friend's feed, actually. Uh, a, a link about Kanye West, no less, about how he's leaving America. It's an old article where he's leaving America due to the racism and blah, blah, blah. So everybody's commenting on it, their opinions about Kanye. My response is just calling Kanye selfish because it ain't got shit to do with racism or America. It's about Kanye wanting attention. Hence, to this day, that article, which is from last year, he's still living where he's at in America. So anyways, it gets to the point where I read the article because I, originally I didn't read the article. And the article, while it did address Kanye West, it was downplaying the shit out of racism in our country. I mean, it, it was saying at one point it goes that Oh, yeah, it's racist in America. You can come and go as you please on your private jet. Right. So that that has nothing to do with race. Bitch, I own my jet. I can fly. You don't own the sky, and I, which I, I said, you know, and then I goes, but what he can't do, and this is where I'll start quoting our, our, our information because it's, it's funny. I, I go, uh, you can go, okay, I'll read the whole thing. So you can come and go as you like on your private jet. It has nothing to do with race. Can you walk down the street and not be profiled, harassed, and sometimes murdered by those sworn by oath to protect and serve without justice? No. No, he can't. And so uh, this is Jennifer Usabel. Usabel. Quote, Terrence, you have a lot to learn about life. Do the police a favor and go to the Chicago Police Department south side and west sides. Can you tolerate being called an Uncle Tom? Can you stomach the 16-year-old rubbing uh, the 10-month-old's vagina? Can you say that you can go out every day and put a vest on and hope you come home in one piece? Because here on the west side of Chicago, there are several gang wars going on. What about the... This is Mr. Wayne. He doesn't like to share my <laughs> attention. So because I'm doing this, he's all in my face. Let me do this video. Anyway, so, um, yeah, so what about the abuse of the welfare that's seen every day? Girls getting their hair did but doesn't have enough food for the babies. 13-year-olds having babies and so on. The next time you think about calling the police for help, don't. They might profile you and be racist. Instead, call a crackhead. They will be more service than the police. <laughs> so then, let's see, where is my response to her? And then I go, Jennifer Usabel, maybe just keep your mouth shut next time the urge to speak comes to you. First of all, you're a racist. You just profiled all blacks and simultaneously gave justification to the treatment my people receive in America. Come to the South Side, I live there because I do, and you don't have to call the police to be profiled. It happened to me and my boyfriend while walking home to our apartment, mind you, from the emergency room. And the welfare system being abused by Americans is not a black issue. And even if it was, is that justification to shoot a totally separate person? To pull over a totally different person? The police are sworn to protect and serve. Fact. Racial profiling not included. And even if your prejudice assumption is correct, it's not the police's job to then enforce the welfare fraud punishment. And then, let's see where Miss Jennifer comes back. Terrence, until you walk in my shoes, you are the racist. Worked in Inglewood. So, Terrence, grow up and see the world for what it truly is. Lived hearts are ruining this country. My turn. You're dodging. I don't need to walk in your shoes to understand racism. You should walk in mine. Or better yet, look at what you're saying. I'll bring up wrongful actions by the police a group towards a group of people all over the nation. Your retort is that an excuse it's excusable based on what you have seen my people of my people in Inglewood. Are you really that dense? That is racism. That is what this country does and that is why racism is alive today. And I assume you are at least have a high school diploma. Ever heard of critical thinking, Jennifer Usabel? And I can't be racist because my beliefs, which aren't skewed towards you or against you due to your race, can't cost you your life the way what I described can. Jennifer Usabel responds, I have a saying. You can't talk to crazy or stupid, so I will leave it at that. My final response. Well, I was hoping you were just ignorant, Jennifer Usabel, but thanks for letting me know. I was wrong. I'll take that advice. I'm baffled. I've never had to deal with this. Like, I mean, I, I, I've never had to deal with being profiled until that incident 
that happened. Um, so this is the next step for it. Like a white person clearly being racist and, and not admitting it. Like if you want to be racist, that's fine, but don't be stupid. Cause you, you, the argument that you're making is stupid. You're literally sound stupid. Welfare babies, blah, blah, blah. That's why black people get shot. No bitch. Black people get shot because of racism. And if you just don't like us because we're black, that's fine. You, you have a right to not like us because we're black. You know who does not have a right to do that? The fucking police who are paid for by my tax dollars, who are paid to protect and serve me, not to profile and abuse me. Okay? If you want to do that, you go get paid. Why don't you, out of your pocket, you and all the people like you, Jennifer Usabelle, who believe the shit like this, why don't you guys fund the police department? And then they can work for you guys. And then they can do all the shit they want to do. And then the people who are really sworn to do what they need to do and are paid for by public funding, they can protect and serve me and they can arrest all y'all goof-ass racists after they take your money and seize those. And we can put that money towards the welfare system to keep everybody going. Also, you stupid cunt. Because... Entitlements aren't a race issue. In fact, I don't believe in them. I, for going to put a pop culture reference here, watch House of Cards season three. Your whole life you've been told that you are entitled to everything. You're entitled to nothing. And I agree to that. We should all have to work. I understand there are situations where people do need help, and that's fine. But it is a system that's slowly bringing down our country. Now, we can't tackle that and tackle your dumb shit being ignorant like this. Because first of all, we got to get human rights together before we start talking about divvying up money. Get your shit together, Jennifer Usabel.